Mark Sanborn is an internationally acclaimed speaker and the best-selling author of The Fred Factor, how passion in your work and life can turn the ordinary into the extraordinary. And you don't need a title to be a leader. How anyone, anywhere can make a positive difference. Please welcome Mark Sanborn. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't need a title to be a leader. A lot of leadership that happens around the world today happens by non-titled leaders. You can be given a title, but you've got to earn followers. Management's power over people. Leadership is power with people. And some of the most effective leaders are not those with the formal titles, but those who simply accept the challenge to influence. Too many employees today think the secret to happiness is to change the jobs they have when the secret is to do the jobs they have differently. I want to define leadership tonight as an invitation to greatness we extend to others. The next time somebody at work says, hey, how you doing? Say, gonna be dead by lunch. <laughs> and they're gonna say, have a good one. <laughs> the friend factor is the ability to continually create new value for those you work with and serve and live with through passion and through creativity and through dedication. And tonight, I just want to share with you four principles. Principle number one, Fred is proof that everyone makes a difference. Second thing I learned from Fred, everything's built on relationships. Third principle, you can create value and it doesn't have to cost a nickel. Here's the fourth, maybe the most important one. You have the opportunity to reinvent yourself every day. And if you want to know how I stay motivated, and I'm not being flip, I'm serious. I think about the guy who for almost 10 years delivered my mail. Because if Fred the Postman can bring that kind of passion and creativity to putting mail in a box day after day after day, how much more could you and I reinvent our businesses? How much more could we reinvent our lives? I've heard a said a friend is somebody that if you were in jail in Mexico, they would not send bond to post for your release. They would bring it. I disagree. I think a friend is somebody, if you are in jail in Mexico, they are in jail with you. That's a friend. I believe positive thinking is a good thing. Don't get me wrong, but I do not believe positive thinking is the antidote to negative thinking. The antidote to negative thinking is gratefulness. Because it's hard to stay negative when you think about all the blessings despite the challenges that we individually and collectively face. Nobody can prevent anyone from being extraordinary. They can withhold support. They can withhold resources. They can withhold encouragement. But the chance to be extraordinary is simply a choice we make each day. There's two ways to change the world. Win a Nobel Prize, invent the integrated circuit, or make a little difference to all the people you meet every day. We all change the world in little ways. And today at the Denver Zoo in the, in the gift shop, there is a coffee can size container, this big four color label, $9.95. It's called Zoop. I'll let you figure out how they came up with the brand name. But for $9.95 in tax, you can buy a can of Zoop to take home and put on the garden or the compost pile. Folks, I don't mean to be crass or graphic, but I'm going to take the risk to make a point. If you can add value to crap, you can add value to anything. I hear leaders say, you know, I want to put as much back into the system as I took out. Folks, if you do that, that's not contribution, that's barter. I think the challenge of a 360 degree leader, titled or untitled, is to see if they can outgive the blessings they have received in their own life. To create a positive asset rather than a, a negative liability. Mark Sanborn is an international best-selling author and noted authority on leadership, customer service, and remarkable performance. One of the youngest speakers ever inducted into the Speakers Hall of Fame, Mark was recently awarded the Ambassador of Free Enterprise by the Sales and Marketing Executives International and the Cavett Award, the highest honor bestowed by the National Speakers Association to one of its members. Mark is a leader, innovator, and expert who has shared his masterful insights as a keynote speaker with over 2,100 audiences in every state and 10 countries. He is the past president of the National Speakers Association, has authored eight books, 20 videos, and numerous audio training programs on leadership, change, teamwork, and customer service. 
His books include The Fred Factor, which was listed simultaneously on the Business Week, Wall Street Journal, and New York Times bestsellers lists. And the bestseller, You Don't Need a Title to Be a Leader, which teaches how anyone can learn to lead or lead better whether or not they have a title. Mark is an engaging storyteller and is known for his high energy style, intellectual substance, and ability to provide actionable ideas. He's a sought after commentator and thought leader and has appeared on CNBC and Fox News. As president of Sanborn & Associates, an idea studio dedicated to developing leaders in business and in life, Mark believes that leadership doesn't just make a difference. He believes leadership is the difference. I want to suggest to you today that a leader, titled or untitled, always increases ROI. And you're familiar with ROI as a financial term, return on investment. But today I want to use it differently. I believe ROI stands for relationships, outcomes, and improvements. Wouldn't you like to have everybody on your team focused on leading whenever it was appropriate and necessary to improve relationships, to increase outcomes, and to increase new ideas? The first job of leadership is to prove significance because people who do not feel significant do not make significant contributions. People who believe they are only ordinary do not make extraordinary contributions. You and I grew up being told that an individual can make a difference. That suggests that you might choose not to make a difference. I'm saying that everybody makes a difference and the only question at the end of the day is what kind of difference did you make? Did you add to or take away from the lives of others around you? Did you get closer to or further from your goals? And so the three C's are character, competence, and connection. I believe that is the foundation of self-mastery, and that self-mastery is the foundation of leadership. I've never had anyone come up and say, you know what I hate about working here? You can't do anything without somebody slapping you on the back and saying thank you. The appreciation's making me crazy. I can't get anything done. It's kind of like a guy I know was married for 50 years. On his 50th wedding anniversary, his wife says, honey, how come you don't tell me you love me anymore? He said, hey, I told you I loved you and I married you. If I change my mind, I'll let you know. <laughs> the quality of your product is important. The quality of your relationships with customers is critical. In leadership, what makes a leader great isn't his or hers leadershipness. It's their humanness. If you don't need a title to be a leader, or if you don't need a title to be a better leader as a titled leader, what do you need? I'm going to give you six things today. In limited time, I'm going to move quickly, but let me give you a complete overview of my book. Here's the first thing you need. You need self-mastery. Second thing you need to be a leader is focus. Third thing you need is power with people. Fourth key, you don't need a title to be a leader, but you need persuasive communication skills. So the fifth key is implementation quotient. And here's the sixth key, giving, contribution. The most overlooked part of leadership in a secular world is the fact that leadership is not about what you get, but what you give. It is not about your resume. It is about your legacy. I recently realized when I was born, God put me here to prank my mother-in-law. <laughs> Ma'am, let's recap. I said, you're not eating lard, animal fat, and we're drinking grease. You're not an alcoholic. I said, ma'am, there's only one reason why you may have high cholesterol. I said, are you having excessive sex? <laughs> Yes, I did. <laughs> I am the only son-in-law that has asked his mother-in-law about her sex life. But I loved her response. She said, sweetheart, I am 72. My husband is 79. I guarantee you that is not why I have high cholesterol. <laughs> I, I hope one of the things that comes out of the time you and I spend together tonight is that you and I will spend more time recognizing and appreciating and thanking the Freds in our lives. I'm going to summarize 20 years of speaking and writing. I'm going to give you the foundation of my entire business and life in this sentence. Fear nothing but to waste the present moment. Fear nothing but to waste the present moment because if you take care of the moments, the moments become your life. I believe in goal setting. I believe in strategic planning. But the most powerful tool for a full life is living, really engaged in the present moment. And when you encounter opportunity and setback and challenge, I hope that as a result of being part of this simulcast, you will not respond in the way that non-leaders respond and say, oh, Lord, why me? But instead, you will say, Lord, why not me? I'm strong. I'm tough. I have faith. I have the skills I need. I can take it. Because ultimately, it's that, not the title, that makes you a leader. Thank you. Thank you.